Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's tutorial because it's a collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube. Can you guess? Rochelle, AKA Miss Rosh Posh. She is seriously so gorgeous. I love her. Not only is she beautiful, but she is so down to earth and her work. If you're not already subscribed to her, make your way over there and subscribe to her channel. Show her video some love, tell her I sent you, and don't forget to like her video. So we decided to do a summery girls night out look for you guys. I'm gonna do this colorful look I got going on on my eyeballs. I know color can be really intimidating to rock, so I just wanted to show you guys that it really isn't. Like, you can have fun with it, you know? And to make the look more wearable for you guys, I threw in some warm neutral colors. If you do get inspired and you want to get colorful, don't forget to tag me, hashtag, be the beauty on Instagram. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and tell everybody that you know to subscribe. And if you want to get social, you know where to find me. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all under Vita Beauty. Yeah, guys, let's jump into this tutorial. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to do is prime my eyelids, and I'm going to use the Lorac primer. Then I'm going to take a little bit under my waterline because we're going to be applying shadow here as well, and I want it to stay put all night long. The next thing I want to do is take this color Levitation from the Shade Light contour palette and run this all over my lid to just set the primer. Also this helps me cover up my veiny lids so if you suffer from that, holla. You can also use foundation to cover up your veins but today this is the way I'm doing it. Next thing I want to do is grab my MAC 217 and the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I'm gonna start with the color Chocolate chocolate cookie and this is gonna be my transition shade obviously everyone's eye shape is gonna be a little different so you can let your eye socket kind of guide you this is where there's an indent from my orbital bone and my eyeball that is where I'm gonna place my transition shade so depending on your eye shape that is gonna be the general guideline I'm gonna take that same color chocolate cookie and run it under my waterline with a tapered brush and blend it out with the MAC 217. Seriously, a MAC 217 is a must. Just keep five on deck and you're straight. It's the only way that your eyeshadow is gonna look bomb, okay? Next thing I wanna do is grab a slanted brush and go in with this color Risqué and really carve out my crease and then take that same MAC 217 and blend it out. I'm gonna go in with my Monda 430 brush. This is seriously my lifesaver. I don't know what I would do without this brush. And this Anastasia Ice Blue Waterproof Cream Color. I'm gonna use this as my base. Next thing I wanna do is grab Mochi from the Sugar Pill Pro Palette. This base makes your shadow stay on longer and it also makes your shadow have an extra pop. Now I want to take this Anastasia cream color again in the color yellow, yellow, <laughs> and apply it right onto my tear duct. Now I'm going to set that with Bright Sunshine from MAC. Okay, so I want to blend in this section so it's not this obvious of a transition. Now I'm going to take this color Sexpresso and lay it over what I've already carved out. MAC 217 and blend, blend away. Here is where I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, dip it into honey butter. This is like an eraser color, okay? And just in a windshield wiping motion, go right over everything you just blended. Okie dokie, so now the next thing I wanna do is start coating my bottom lashes only because I love to have that feathery, chunky look, and that takes stages. So we're gonna start with our first, and I'm just gonna take my telescopic Carbon Black Mascara by L'Oreal and go ham. And I love to just hold any kind of paper down here because it's gonna help prevent 
Mascara transfer. I swear, it's all in the wand. This wand is life-changing. I know I say a lot of things are life-changing, but like really, <laughs> this is life-changing. This is completely optional. You can skip this step, but you know me. I cannot give that up. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Inglot Gel Liner to map out the shape of the liner. And then I'm gonna use this NYC Liquid Liner over it to set it so that we don't have any transfer if we're wearing this on a hot day and it gets sweaty. Um, but you know, I can't multitask and talk to you guys while I do my liner, so I'm just gonna fast forward this. So I used to use this liner that I bought in Greece and then I lost it and my world came to an end. It was tragic. My eyes tend to water a lot so I can't basically use any eyeliner so I'm stuck with very limited options. Um, I guess until my next trip to Greece, I will be lining my eyes with this liner. Next I'm gonna add some lashes. These are the Coco Lashes Goddess. I am literally in love with the Coco. Go. These lashes are bomb.com. I'm gonna go ham with my mascara again, just to blend everything in with the falsies. And if you still feel like your lashes aren't blending, let's take the Inglot Gel Liner, and this will always do the trick. Especially if your lashes are going straight out, just run it on your natural lashes, and it'll help bind everything together with the falsies. Seal the strip a little bit so it can appear blended. There's one more step. We're gonna take the shade light palette, it's color Levitation, and running this onto my brow bone. Now my under eye is looking real clatchet, so I'm gonna take my, oops. I'm gonna take my age, first of all, let me go dampen this completely, I'll BRB. I'm not gonna take this too close because since I already have color here, I don't wanna ruin anything. That's why I'm gonna take my Handy Dandy MAC 287 and buff this business under here. Here we go. It helps diffuse the concealer right underneath so you're not taking away your actual hard work. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. You can call this whatever you want cooking in the kitchen, but honestly it all boils down to me liking to set under my eye very heavy. I repeat this in every video, but it helps my mascara from running and it also helps my concealer from creasing. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, while this is doing its business, I'm just gonna warm up my face with a bronzer. I'm gonna switch it up today and use the Too Faced Sun Bunny. Okay, this is set enough time, so let's go ahead and just dust it slowly. I'm gonna take this shade Shadow Play from my Shade Light Palette, Kat Von D, obviously, and just carve out my cheekbones. Give myself some chiseled looking cheeks. Flicker that wrist just a little bit. We're gonna add some more life to our face. I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan doll line or dolly line, whatever. Either or, you can pick which you want it to be. <laughs> and just apply it on to the apples of the cheeks. Let's dust this off. And of course, you can't have no summer look without that glow. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, number two. Before I do anything, I just wanna spray my fan brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And grab the highlight and go ham on my cheekbones. And then with my ring finger, I'm gonna run this down the bridge of my nose now. This really just completes my life. All right, let's move on to the lips. This step is totally gonna bring the look together. I'm gonna line my lips with Whirl first. Next, let's take Stila. This is my favorite color in the world. It's the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick called Bellissima. Okay, so I really can't decide if I wanna keep this looking matte or if I wanna add gloss. 
but you know, lately I have just really been feeling gloss. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dainty. Okay, I am definitely feeling the gloss way more than it just being matte. All right guys, this look is complete. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to make your way to Miss Rosh Posh's channel and show her video some lovin'. So that's everything. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Uh, bye bye Mama, she keep looking at me. Am I the only one who keeps having flashbacks of Magic Mike every time I close my eyes? This is not okay. This cannot happen anymore. No longer tolerated. You you, you don't want to crash like la 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 bamba. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's that turn up hour. Let's see what you guys got for me. Don't act like you forgot. I need that robe, by the way. Don't freak out, just tilt your head and dust it off. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. You know, LA traffic had a city slow. She was sitting down on that big butt. I love you. Chloe, did you pee on me? Chloe, did you pee on me?